welcome back to our course on scanning electron ion probe microscopy in material characterization. We were discussing on uh, atomic force microscope in from last class. I have given a brief introduction about atomic force microscope. Today, uh, I will go a little uh, deeper into the force between the tip uh, and the sample in atomic force microscope, particularly uh, the linear zone potential curve. There is uh, attractive and repulsive force, how when tip and sample brought closer to each other, how these forces uh, play important role. Uh, if we look at the um, design of atomic force microscope, a simplest design is shown here, presented here. Uh, here a physical prop and here a physical prop means a tip uh, which is attached to a cantilever and as you see here, here is a FM cantilever and a tip is attached here. The cantilever tip can be of same material, can be of different materials. We will see those later. And then we have sample and sample can move in the x, y, z direction, direction. And now a laser beam is falling back side of this cantilever and the laser beam is reflecting, reflected back to the light is being laser light is being reflected to a position sensitive detector to detect the cantilever deflection. So, here uh, as uh, the prop can be scanned, let us say prop can be scanned at constant height over the surface and measure the force through the bending and reflection of the cantilever. So, for example, uh, if the sample is of any height and my prop is scanning at a constant height it is constant height, then there are different force exist at different place. Different force, the force value will changes because here the sample is close to the tip, here the sample is little away from the tip and therefore, the force will no more be same. So, now as force will be no more be same, the cantilever will not deflect uh, at equal level at all places. The deflection of the cantilever will also be different at different location. So, by measuring the deflection of the cantilever through this light reflected, laser light being reflected in the position sensitive detector, we can know, uh, we can measure the force at different position and that different force can or the force distribution can be used to construct the 3D image of the sample surface. So, that is what we do in atomic force microscope. Now, if we see the forces, there are different type of forces. The total force between the tip and sample is composed of several long range and short range contribution. One long range contribution is van der Waal force. There are many forces, but for simplicity we begin with a van der Waal force uh, on the sample. And uh, let us say the van der Waal force between the tip and sample can be written as the the van der Waal force between tip and sample can be written as can be like f uh, w d w v w w van der Waal is equal to minus h r divided by 6 d square, where r is the tip radius, tip radius and d is the distance between tip and sample, distance between tip and sample and h is the Hamaker constant, Hamaker constant uh, whose value is in the several uh, uh, electron volt uh, in the range of several electron volt this Hamaker uh, constant value. And, uh, and this Hamaker uh, constant is a material constant and it depends uh, and it represents the 
van der Waal uh, interaction force, it depends on the van der Waal interaction between uh, two objects, uh, in this case it is deep and sample and this constant h is equal to uh, pi square c a rho a and rho b, where c is the Hamaker's coefficient, c is the Hamaker coefficient and rho a and rho b are the number densities of uh, two different uh, uh, inter interatomic uh, objects or interatomic atoms. So, here uh, this uh, uh, Hamaker coefficients uh, depends on the atom atom pair potential because here uh, when tip and sample are in coming close to each other there are uh, one atom on the tip and one atom on the uh, sample this is the atom atom pair interaction or atom atom pair uh, potential and that can be atom atom um, uh, that can be written as uh, like uh, this uh, Hamaker coefficient is related to also the potential uh, u uh, v d w uh, is equal to c upon uh, r to the power 6 c here it is minus r is the r is the separation between T pattern atom R is the uh, distant between tip uh, um, distant between uh, two atoms not tip distant between atom atom pair potential this is distant between two atoms. This is what the uh, van der Waal force uh, between uh, the tip and sample. And this van der Waal force uh, like uh, uh, exist in the sample when exist in um, exist when tip and sample are uh, at least uh, more than 1 nanometer away from each other. Uh, if they come more closer less than 1 nanometer less than 0.5 nanometer then other force will also play important role particularly the short range force uh, will come into picture uh, and we consider here uh, van der Waal forces as a long range force. So, now uh, we have uh, 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 tip and sample one is prop in, 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 in this case it is a prop and we have a sample when tip and prop tip comes close to the sample uh, there will be uh, different type of forces particularly if we consider let us say uh, when a prop is coming close to the sample when it is far away from each other uh, then there will be uh, there will be no force or there will be less interaction or negligible interaction when they come closer uh, they will first there will be first attractive force and then attractive force will keep on increasing and when they come very close to each other then there will be repulsive force. Repulsive force arises when uh, they the atomic orbital will start overlapping overlapping and then due to overlapping uh, the there will be electrostatic repulsion electrostatic repulsion and that would uh, increase the repulsive forces in addition to the electrostatic repulsion there is also quantum mechanical phenomena or quantum quantum mechanical uh, contribution uh, as we know as per the or we can say that is a Pauli repulsion or uh, we know as per the Pauli exclusion principle uh, no two electrons can occupy a single states. So, now when two atoms coming closer to each other and they are overlapping uh, already the lower states are occupied by the electrons of one atom and when the neighboring atom uh, electrons are coming there. So, they cannot find place to occupy the lower states and therefore, they have to deviate and that leads to the repulsion. Uh, if we go with a quantum mechanical discussion uh, and using the Schrodinger equation. So, all these kind of attractive and repulsive forces can taken into account, but instead of going to those uh, more detail of quantum mechanical discussion we will we will go with a simple uh, mathematical model. So, where uh, two atoms are there and two atoms are let us say first, first uh, they are far away from each other and at a large distance they do not interact with each other they do not interact with each other and when they uh, brought little close to each other uh, with a minimum energy uh, by providing a minimum uh, energy they will start experiencing attra attractive force and when uh, then they, they can because of attractive force they will again come uh, close to each other very close to each other 
uh, and at, at this clutch there will be minimum bonding potential, minimum bonding potential and once they come further close to each other then uh, we uh, then there will be repulsive force uh, will become dominating in these cases. And uh, if, if we talk about uh, these places the, uh, this, this repulsive forces will uh, increase very sharply as the distance between two atoms is decreases. And at this places at this position uh, we can say interatomic pair potential produced and that can be interatomic potential can be calculated or uh, calculated by taking the sum of attractive and repulsive forces. The common uh, the most common mathematical expression uh, for uh, calculating the interatomic uh, potential interatomic pair potential is the uh, Lenarchan potential that uh, is uh, discussed uh, that, that uh, um, potential curve is presented in this slide. So, uh, this uh, Lenarchan uh, um, interaction between two atom or Lenarchan potential uh, describes the interaction between two neutral atoms, uh, two, two neutral atoms and it takes into account of the both attractive and repulsive force. We can write, write that uh, linear uh, potential as, as U L J linear potential we can write as uh, 4 U 0 R A divided by R the 12 minus R A by R per 6 here. Here uh, U G uh, U 0 sorry U 0 is the uh, depth of potential well depth of potential well and R A is the R A is the distance at which uh, U L J 0 distance at which U L J R is 0 and R is the small r is the distance between distance between two atoms. So, now uh, in this equation uh, this first part of this inside the square bracket is the uh, repulsive force and in the second part it is the attractive force this is the attractive this is the repulsive repulsive contribution. So, if we uh, as you as you see in this plot uh, two atoms are there they are separated by distance r. So, x axis we write r upon r a where r is the distance at which uh, potential is 0. So, when two atoms are brought uh, when they are far away that means, in this region there is almost negligible interaction and when they come closer attractive force will dominate and attractive force this downward direction is attractive force they will dominate attractive force and when they brought uh, come uh, brought close to each other they will find a, a equilibrium uh, equilibrium uh, uh, radius equilibrium separation which is R e. So, here R e is the uh, equilibrium separation equilibrium separation between two atom. and uh, at, at which the, poten uh, the potential is the lowest minimum and R s is the distant of maximum force maximum force interaction force between the atoms and as two atoms brought close to each other more close as you see here uh, the 
potential is increasing and repulsive force is also increasing. Upward is the repulsive force and downward is our attractive force. So, it this can be uh, correlated to our AFM. Uh, this is between two atoms. So, we consider here it is two atoms and this potential curve is taking into account of two uh, non interacting or neutral atoms, but this can also be correlated to the uh, interaction between the tip and sample in atomic force microscope. When they are far away, there is uh, no interaction or negligible interaction. Once they brought closure, there will be more attractive attractive force and when they are very close, there will be repulsive force. There will be repulsive force will dominate and uh, this uh, or repulsive force will take over the attractive force. If we uh, uh, see that how happens when a uh, probe or probe and sample brought close to each other in atomic force microscope and that is the force versus uh, distant curve that, that in this is what here we had plotted force versus distant curve and that force versus distant curve in AFM can be plotted like this. So, in, in this side this is a approach or engagement means a prop is brought closer to the sample or approach toward the sample. As you see when it is a it is away from the sample this is tip sample distance and it is away from the sample and as soon as it reaches the B position P position uh, tip uh, is just got stuck to the sample the attractive force was strong. So, the uh, tip got or probe got snapped into the sample. So, this can be uh, understood by taking an example of a spring. Uh, here spring is attached to a magnet, uh, one side is attached to magnet and the spring is um, held by a support. Now, uh, uh, if I bring a, a metallic or a magnetic uh, plate close to the uh, close to this magnet let us say a iron plate I brought close to the magnet first it was in equilibrium position. So, now if I bring or brought a metallic uh, iron iron plate close to this magnet or mag then what will happen the spring will stretch spring will stretch and to reach an equilibrium position first magnet was uh, being suspended with a particular gravitational uh, force gravitational force. Now, as a another magnet or another iron plates brought closer to this magnet then the spring will stretch, but again if it is come brought more closer to more closer to this magnet then all of a sudden or instantaneously this magnet will snap into the metal plate snap into the metal plate and equilibrium is lost instead of instead now magnet is directly fixed to the metal plate below. This similar um, uh, effect is found in atomic force microscope when prop is brought closer to the sample. As they brought closer to the sample as you see here um, tip got snapped into the sample and now there is a strong um, interaction or strong attachments between the tip and sample here. And similarly and that is a repulsive region that is a repulsive region because tip sample are got stuck to each other. So, it is a repulsive region B afterwards it is going to C and this is this is this is a repulsive region a uh, repulsive force uh, dominate over the attractive force and while retraction or disengagement of the tip again the C and when we take out and as you see here how the position is changing when it is goes upwards. So, uh, what we see uh, it is that uh, tip get snapped to the sample when they uh, come uh, closer to the uh, closer to the sample uh, to, to a certain distance and once it snapped it get uh, touched to the it, uh, it, it, it come in contact to the sample and therefore it is we can say it is a contact mode of uh, contact mode of uh, measurements. Uh, let us that we will uh, see that there are there are different modes of AFM operation contact mode, non contact mode and also tapping mode. So, these cases where tip is strongly stuck to the sample or attached to the sample it is a contact mode of measurements where uh, uh, sample grab the tip. 
So, the when and that happens mm. at, at that happens when T p is slowly brought closer to the sample and at one particular position it it, it uh, lost its control and get snapped into the sample surface. So, what ha we have uh, seen that if the cantilever is far from the uh, surface the spring potential provide uh, the spring provides a stable potential at a distance uh, little away that is let us say uh, z 0 uh, which is the distance between uh, tip and sample uh, when sample is in equilibrium position and where there is no in influence uh, almost negligible interaction between the tip sample. As the cantilever or tip prop come closer to the surface the potential minimum close to z 0 is vanishes and there will be increased strength between the tip and sample and that place that, that time instability arises and consequently uh, the cantilever will find a new stable minimum which is which is not close to del 0 del 0 is the distance between the sample and tip at the equilibrium position not close to 0, but close to the surface which is called snap to contact when the tip snap to the sample. And this happens the snap to contact occurs if the force gradient of the tip sample interaction force gradient of the tip sample interaction is larger than the spring constant of the cantilever. It is very important to know that this snap to contact occurs happens when the force gradient of the tip sample interaction is larger than the spring constant of the cantilever. If the cantilever spring constant is higher or k value is higher then this will not occur this will not occur. So, how to avoid the snap to uh, contact? Yes, in some cases we need to uh, need to avoid this snap to uh, contact like we do not want uh, our tip go and uh, stick to the sample, we do not want we want tip to be away from the sample. So, in order to keep the tip or prop away from the sample or cantilever away from the sample. Uh, there are two ways one is strategy one is that use cantilever with a large spring constant uh, as that we have seen here uh, where uh, d f uh, tip, tip sample d f t s by d z which is the force gradient is greater than the k value or spring constant value we can use a larger spring constant to avoid the um, snap to contact other ways of avoiding the snap to contact is use an oscillating cantilever. Oscillating cantilever that is a dynamic mode of AFM we will discuss one is static mode of AFM where uh, tip is going with a constant height, constant height or constant force above the sample. In other cases in a dynamic mode tip will be keep on oscillating, tip will be keeping uh, will be oscillating on the surface that is a dynamic, dynamic mode of operation or it is also called tapping mode of operation and in this tapping mode of operation one can use a larger z0 which is the equilibrium tip sample distance little uh, t, uh, prob will be little um, away from the sample larger uh, z0 value and higher oscillating uh, amplitude. Higher oscillating amplitude is very important here to avoid uh, large spring constant. If we our tip is too far uh, from the surface again we um, our force interactic uh, force between the sample and tip will decrease. So, we cannot keep the tip much away from the sample, we have to stay away from the sample certainly, so that we do not touch the sample. But at the same time we cannot stay much away from the sample, because if we stay much away from the sample their force uh, will decrease and we may not able to measure the forces uh, um, that small forces with our detection system and therefore cannot uh, uh, create the image. So, they have to be uh, away from the sample at the same time they should not snap to the sample and it can be done by using a high amplitude high amplitude uh, uh, oscillating uh, cantilever oscillating tip. So, in this second condition uh, the oscillating amplitude should be large enough uh, so that uh, it, it will also reach close to the sample at which our for we can measure the force. But uh, due to the large amplitude, uh, due to the large amplitude for that uh, uh, the 
cantilever force cantilever force cantilever force will is always stronger than the surface force cantilever force will be always stronger than the um, sample force and therefore snap to contact will not occur so two major strategy one is you use a larger spring constant a cantilever with a larger spring constant and second is using a use a high oscillating amplitude um, uh, cantilever for this measurements so what we have seen here in this uh, um, lecture uh, simple lenarjan potential is used to model the force between tip and sample uh, which compri uh, comprises an attractive part and a repulsive part uh, and when uh, tip and uh, cantilever, cantilever tip or prop is brought closer to the sample instability occurs and if uh, uh, that force gradient is greater than spring constant snap to contact will occur and tip will jump to sample surface and stock to the sample surface. And this snap to contact can be avoided by using a stiff cantilever or, or using a cantilever with a high spring constant high k value or by using a high amplitude or uh, amplitude uh, cantilevers moving above the sample. So, which is the, uh, the so that uh, the cantilever force is always stronger than the force attractive force between the uh, tip sample surface. So, if we do that then we can also avoid the um, tip to sample um, um, contact. These are the reference and thank you.